Hi guys, welcome Dan here from the Magic Junk Drawer. So recently I went through each of the aces and I told you about each ace. But this video now is just generally about the aces, not each ace separately. So the aces. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God. The Word was with God. The Word was God. In these words, from the beginning of the book of John, we get the very essence of the aces. Above all else, the ace represents the most primary of masculine creative principles, the word that calls forth into the being. In Genesis, we see God creating the heavens and the earth, all by simply saying it was so, and God said, and lo and behold, came into being. The world as we know, is made up of a huge matrix of masculine and feminine energies interacting and involving and yet always in balance all masculine energy is part of god's creative force whereas feminine energy is fertile receptive it's the receptive side of god we might say all of our creative all of our creating ultimately comes from the mind of god and those of us who are creative are vessels for his ideas who else puts all these ideas into our minds? All aces, regardless of their sex, will have somewhat of a masculine nature to them, either physically or as just part of their personality, and will reflect all the masculine and creative principles in their lives. Aces know very well about creating and manifesting. Their lives are in constant chain of one creation after another. They exemplify the creative force and are conduits of many new ideas and projects. One might say that they are constantly receiving input from a higher force to go forward and create something new. They love new, beginning, they love new beginnings and they love to see their ideas come into materialization. Seeing, hearing, and tasting or touching something they have created beings gives them great pleasure. It is part of their birthright to bring many things into being which were not there before. This brings them to the greatest, this brings them their greatest satisfaction and also their greatest challenges. Aces are usually not known for their patience. With so much to accomplish in this lifetime and so little time to do it, they hardly have time to waste standing around and waiting for others to finish their sentences. They are bubbling over with the desire to make something happen. It is not in their nature to wait for something to happen. They often dislike waiting in lines or in traffic. They can be a little short with you because they have something important that they want to get done. And it's not that they don't like you, they just have bigger plans. However, they can also be charming and caring. Three of the aces, the ace of diamonds, clubs, and spades, each have twos as their karma cards. These influences can bring a certain amount of caring and consideration for others, mostly because on some level they feel like they need the presence of others to feel complete. It's a paradox that the cards that often feel the need to be themselves also have the greatest longing for the perfect mate or companion. They excel in communications for the most part. Their lives are often an endless flow of phone calls, emails, and letters. Don't be fooled by this appearance, however. Aces are individuals above all else. They need time to themselves to explore who they are on a basic level. Being an ace means being self-absorbed to a certain degree, and many of them have been characterized as loners. It is an Aries energy, and Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, and these people are known to be self-engrossed. In spite of the two influence that they have contributing to them in some tangible way, they are sometimes a little bit self-absorbed, the aces. If their relationship with you has outlived its ability to give them something they want or need, it will be history. The ace of hearts personality, the search for self, in more ways than other aces, though they are all undertaking this search in one way or another. So the ace of hearts is kind of 
searching more for themselves that maybe a little bit less than the other aces their suit tells us in which basic area of life they emphasize this search the ace of hearts people search for themselves in their relationships this includes not only lovers and mates but family and friends as well the ace of clubs search for his or her own meaning through the books they read and the things that they learn along the way the ace of hearts they seek the perfect love relationship and will, will fulfill their deepest yearnings for completion. The Ace of Diamonds finds conflict between driving ambition and the desire for companionship in marriage. They cannot seem to have both the same, like they can't seem to have both at the same time. It's like they put too much energy into one and then the other one kind of falls by the wayside. Like all diamonds, they tend to value themselves based upon what they have or how successful they are financially. They seek to acquire or attain something that is so valuable that it may take them, it may take them the valuable person that they want to be, that it will take them. The ace of spades person usually has difficulties with love and it makes them finding happiness almost impossible. They often abandon the idea completely and let all of their passions express themselves in work and career. Perfection is their work either through quality or quantity is their means of finding the love for themselves that they seek. They're considered one of the most ambitious cards in the entire deck. In all cases, the hidden motive for aces is self-acceptance. However, since there is so much masculine energy being expressed, as action and accomplishment, they seek to find themselves in the reflection of their accomplishments instead of just stopping and looking within. Hopefully they will love what they have created and complete the circle, discovering that what they are looking for is already within inside themselves. They are the prodigal sons and daughters seeking to come home. So that's about it for the aces. So that's kind of the overview of you're an ace in general and then the differences between the four aces. Okay, if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Juncture, don't forget to like and subscribe, share us with your friends, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.